Government has directed multinational mining firms operating in Ghana to focus on developing human, uh, res local human resources and communities as they pursue economic interests. Vice President Kwesi Emisa Arthur says the days where natural resources are mined, leaving the communities worse off, should cease. He was speaking at the seat of government when the outgoing Australian High Commissioner to Ghana, Ms. Joanna Adamson, bid farewell to him. Unto Bini Unto with this report. Ms. Joanna Adamson has for the past two and a half years held aloft the flag of Australia, a country that has strong interest in mining and mining supplies in Ghana. This has made Ghana a destination of choice to both operating and prospective companies. The resultant increase in trade volumes between the two friends have shot up at a time that foreign direct investment is shrinking globally. By 2013, Australia exports to Ghana stood at $260 million, while the reverse stood at $6 million per annum. Apart from mining and mining supplies, the kangaroo country has the expertise in manufacturing and agro-processing, financial and a world-class educational system, an area Ms. Adamson wants Ghana to exploit. Many Ghanaians have studied in Australia under our flagship scholarships program, the Australia Awards program, and other study opportunities also offered by the Australian government. But it's not just about scholarships, and I just wanted to mention that just last week there were 17 Australian universities here for the first ever education fair here in Ghana for Australian uh, education providers. And there were no less than 2,000 people attending, expressing their interest in pursuing an education in Australia. And I think this is a new dynamic for the future, which is driven by closer links at the personal level. And in the end, it's all about people. Vice President Emisa Arthur said, Ghana will pursue other non-traditional business agendas with like-minded states such as Australia. Mining in our economy shouldn't just be an extractive industry that takes products out and uh, leaves communities um, in, in, in dire straits. We need an opportunity for those communities to also thrive as a result of mining activities and that is part of the program that we are developing to ensure that there's greater local content in the mining sector and that products and, um, and labor are utilized to a much fuller extent or much greater extent than they are now so that we can reduce uh, reliance on especially on um, imported labor in the, in the market even as we benefit from the technology that's been developed in the larger Australian mining sector. Relations between the two countries are heavily trade induced while Ghana exports raw materials such as cocoa and timber to Australia, that country exports mining equipment and supplies to Ghana. Mto Bibinimto, GBC24, Flagstaff House.